Hello and welcome to Infinity. We've been looking at brushes and if you click on this more button here what you get and it's quite a lot. Um, in the previous video we looked through what these things do changing the size or width, the maximum opacity, the hardness, the spacing or blobbiness, the uh, how much gets put down at each blob and the shape and rotation and a number of these are already up here. Now let's look at the dynamics and it looks kind of scary as to what this is going to do. But it's actually not that difficult because it, what it does is create variation on the lot of these things here. So you can have them vary with each blob if you like. So what we'll do is we'll turn the size jitter all the way up so we can see what happens. And then I'm going to go down here and this controls what happens. So random means it's going to have random blobbiness. So let's have a red brush so we can see it happening. And see there we're getting random. Each blob of paint is a random size. But we can change things with that. So I can change it to cyclic for example. Now when I paint it's going to go down and up and down. And in fact, then if I go back to here and I decrease the spacing, you see it shows it up here. Now it's going to go down, up, down, up, down. It's printing pretty patterns. And if I go to and the dynamics, this thing on the end here, this changes the shape again. So here we've just had a curve, but what if I had a curve going the other way? Now, there we go, it's different. Or just linear is sort of a normal one in the middle. So that's just some of the things that you can do. These mostly change stuff. So let's take the things off here, change the things, vary them, which are under this tab here. But there are some extras. Look at this scatter X and, and scatter Y. And what we'll do is we'll put the spacing up because we need more blobbiness for this. And then we will turn the scatter X up and you can see it's sort of it's because it's on random here it's randomly placing me on the X axis and I turn that up and it randomly changes on the Y axis. So what this looks like is like a random selection here. Then if we include hue jitter on this which we've got HSL as well we can change turn that one up and that's random we get hey it's confetti. So there's a lot of things that you can do to change the brush and it's a lot of control here and it's quite easy really. Let's have a look at texture. So we'll go to here and in fact what we'll do is we'll go to brushes and we'll go to the effects brush and we'll pick the first one on that and we'll just undo the painting from that. Oh that needs to be a bit small doesn't it? And what we've got here, because if I paint here, I'm getting a bunch of blobs and it's the same shape. And it comes from this that's been set up here. So you can click on these to add things and so on. And this has come with, it's got a size jitter. That's all it's going to do, which is going to be a bit of variation, but it's on wheel, so you won't even see that. So if I change that to random, you get big ones. In fact, I'm just going to turn that off altogether. But at the moment, it's a bit boring. But what if I put a rotation jitter on and make this random? So now when I paint, I get it at different directions. And then if I turn the spacing down so it all sort of mixes into itself, now it's going to rotate each time and I get a nice sort of effect. I can turn that up a bit. You know, I'm still getting something more interesting. It looks like I'm doing sort of random painting. And that's the thing that you can do with this is you can get really interesting approaches. So even if I go to texture and pick the first one there, and let's undo all this. Now, if I paint on here, if I look, let's look at the texture thing. I see I've got here a bunch of, of bitmaps effectively down here. And I've got random set here, which means it's going to randomly select one of these. So now when I paint, it goes blob like that. So I've got a bit of jitter on this, but if I turn the spacing right down, these are going to mix up. So we get ourselves a really nice 
it's just like it's like a random stuff happening. So there we go. There's a bunch of the things that you can do, in particular with the dynamics. You can play more with the texture. I'm not going to go further into it for them for now. Sub brushes, I'm not going to cover either, but there's an awful lot, as you can see, you can do to change the brush, and it's not that difficult. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.